When are we going back with the others? Pardon me? Quit with the pardon me. I want to go back with the others right now. I think that you're mistaken. Oh. What an adorable little sheep. You're so clean and white, aren't you? Whatever. Can you tell that mongrel shepherd to move his butt? I want to be with the other sheep. What do you mean, mongrel shepherd? This is Alfred, and he's not a shepherd dog. Of course he's a shepherd dog. Are you blind or what? I want to go with the others, now! Don't worry, Rita. It's obvious that this little sheep is lost and has me confused with her shepherd dog. Well, let's see. Have you lost your flock? No! I'm with the shepherd dog. It's the other sheep who are lost. But this isn't your shepherd dog. It's my Alfred. So is he your boyfriend or what? No, uh, he's, uh, he's... Rita is my friend. You don't have to explain anything to me. If you're in love, that's your business. I already said no! Your girlfriend has some temper. So will you take me to the others, or do I have to go alone? I would love to go with you, but right now I'm waiting for my friends to meet me so we can go and have some tea. Do as you like. I'll go alone. <laughs> Alfred, Rita told us that there's a lost sheep around here. That assumption is correct. The sheep went over that way. How could you let her go all alone? It's almost time for tea. But Alfred, she's lost and all alone. You have to go and help her. Where has the poor little thing gone? She must be so alone without her family. Now I feel awful for having let her go alone. The poor little thing. Look, she's over there under the tree. Are you all right, little sheep? It's about time. I've been waiting here for 10 minutes for that mongrel to lead me to the rest of the sheep. You're very mistaken. This <clears throat> mongrel, as you call him, is Alfred, and he's our friend. He is not your shepherd dog. That can't be. Then I'm... I'm lost! I will never see my family ever again. Somebody needs to comfort me. I'm so sad. Little sheep, we'll help you find them. Get away, mongrel. This is all your fault. Don't worry. We'll help you get back to your family. Do you remember any particular place you went to every day? Now that I think about it, yes, I do remember. There's a place nearby with a river and a big pink rock. Well, I don't know where that is. Nope. Um, neither do I, Milo. I know exactly where that location is, but I don't think I want to help this sheep. She's been very unpleasant this whole time. I'm sorry, sweet mongrel. What I mean to say is, knight in shining armor, please guide me to my home and I will reward you with a great big kiss. Come on, Alfred, be nice to her. The poor thing's lost. All right, then. But don't expect me to accept one single kiss. Lead the way, Alfred. We'll all follow you. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. We've been walking for quite a while, and I don't see anything that looks familiar. Don't worry, Olga. We're almost there now. Are we there yet? We have reached our destination. What a beautiful place. And look at all the sheep. Yes, it's very pretty. Look, there's a dog coming this way. Who could it be? It's Alfreda. She's my shepherd dog. Huh? What? Alfreda? I've brought you all the way out here, and to top it all off, you call me Alfreda? Have you no shame? Alfreda is the dog who's coming over here, and she's a girl. Alfred, a little dog just like you. She could be your girlfriend, and you could get married and have little puppies. <laughs> ahem, ahem. Good afternoon, friends. I see that you've brought back my sheep. Thank you. You have all been very kind. They've been very nice to me, and I promised Alfred that I would reward him with a kiss. If you'd like, I can give him one. 
Which one is Alfred? He's the one sitting behind me, Lo. Good afternoon. It looks like they've fallen in love. How beautiful. There's really no need for reward. It has been my pleasure to help such a friendly and kind sheep find a way home. But... You must get rewarded every once in a while. It's not necessary, thank you. Okay, as you wish. At any rate, thank you, friends. I know you weren't interested in any reward, but you could have accepted the kiss, couldn't you? I'm a gentleman, and a gentleman doesn't accept kisses in exchange for anything. Even though, it would have been nice to receive a kiss from such a lovely damsel. Uh, pass it to me. Now to me. Now back to me. What's this? Is anyone going to pass it to me or what? Pass it to me already. Oh. 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 Wow! wow. Talalo, that shot was incredible. Now we have to go look for it. Come with me. You can see a lot better from the sky. How did you get to be so strong, Talalo? Look at how many apple trees there are. And they're all full of apples. It's incredible. You're right. Talalo, next time you need to kick it softer. Look at the ball. It's right under the apple tree. Let's go get it. That's what you get for kicking the ball so hard. <laughs> huh? oh. Where's that laughter coming from? <laughs> huh? I haven't laughed so much in a long time. <laughs> it was pretty funny, wasn't it? Mr. Apple Tree, why are you so far away from the other apple trees? Well, you see, I was born in this place. And it never bothered me to be a bit farther away from my brothers. This way I can grow bigger and be more comfortable. But this year it hasn't rained very much and I haven't gotten any water. My brothers have been able to grow many apples, but I haven't been able to grow a single one. As you know, what we apple trees like to do most is grow apples, so that everyone can taste how good they are. Uh-huh. Is there anything we can do to help you? Not unless you can make it rain and make the wind take all these dead leaves away. Anyway, I hope that one day you can taste my apples. We've got to go now, Mr. Apple Tree. But don't you worry. We'll try and help you real soon. My friends, we need to help Mr. Apple Tree. The poor guy has no water and hasn't been able to produce any apples. Um, what can we do to help? What a great idea, Talalo. We'll make Mr. Apple Tree as good as new. It's raining. I can't believe it. Water! Lots of water! This is totally awesome! It's you! Thank you so much for doing this! Look 
that Mr. Tree? He's got flowers growing out of his head. That's strange, isn't it? Moo Moo, those flowers grow out of all the apple trees, and they will all turn into apples in just a few days. Good morning, Mr. Apple Tree. You sure have a lot of flowers now. All those flowers are so pretty. Thank you, my friends. When my apples are ripe, you can eat as many as you like. That's great. I want a basketful just for me. We'll check back soon to see how many apples there are. See you tomorrow. It's amazing how many apples there are. Hurry, hurry. Come here, everyone. You are not going to believe this. It's incredible. I see hundreds and hundreds of apples. It's awesome how many there are. Are all of you ready? Are we ready for what? Whoa. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Look how many I have. I have even more. Thank you, Mr. Apple Tree, for so much fruit. They are all for you, for having been so kind. See you later. That was a lot of fun. We should go to the forest and look for trees, and if we see that they're dry, we'll give them lots of water. Yes, it's wonderful. Look how many apples Mr. Apple Tree has given us. Everyone, look at me. I'm a tree with flowers on my head, and these apples are so good. Um. Mm, mm. Last night, I had a really strange dream. I was shopping at the finest shops in the world, and just when I was getting ready to pay, I noticed my wallet was empty. There was no money left since I had already bought so many things. So then a policeman came and This said, chatterbox won't stop talking. Won't I don't even know what she's talking about. All the buttons in the store. And of course, how am I supposed to sew with this tight thimble and prickly needle? I hope we're heading home soon. It's almost tea time. Alfred, uh, huh? are you listening to me? I said, which one shall I buy, the blue or the green? I can't help you there. Sorry to tell you this, but you're very inconsiderate. The breeze is picking up. That cute little jacket I bought sure would come in handy now. Excuse me, Miss Giraffe. Would you like to dance with me? To dance? Hmm. Oh, no way. No, I don't dance. <laughs> Oh, don't cry. I'm sure you'll find someone to dance with you. Nobody will dance with me because I'm all alone. And when the wind blows, I'd like to dance with another flower. Today's your lucky day, little Miss Flower. I'm going to go get my friends now, and we'll come right back to help you. Really? Thank you so much. You're a nice giraffe. Well, yes, nice and elegant. I'll be right back. How's it going? Please, everyone, come here. This is really important. I've got to tell you something super important that just happened to me. I just forgot. Wow, I can't remember. Uh, let me think. I was with Alfred, telling him about my dream, and... Uh, oh, I've got it! I'll tell you about my dream. Well, I was shopping at the finest shops in the world, and just when I was getting ready to pay, I noticed my wallet was empty. <laughs> Forgive me for interrupting you, Rita, but what are you talking about? My dream? What's the matter? You want to hear it again? No, no, please don't. Once was more than enough for me. I thought you were going to help the poor flower that you met. Oh, yeah, the flower. I totally forgot about her. Olga, we've got to help move that flower to a new spot. Let's go and see that flower. Hello, Miss Flower. What's the matter? 
Nobody dances with me because I'm all alone. And when it gets windy, I just wish I could dance with somebody next to me. Well, let me tell you what we're going to do. We are going to replant you right next to the other flowers so you can dance with them whenever you like. Thank you so much. You are all so nice. That's very easy. You just cut the flower and put it next to the others. No, 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 no. You can't do that. If you cut me, I would die in less than a day. You have to take me out of here by digging a hole in the ground, right below me, so that you don't cut my roots. Don't you worry, Miss Flower. I've been gardening for a long time, and I know just how to do it. Olga, pass me a shovel, please. I don't know where it is. I think we left it near the swings. Rita, could you do me a favor and go get the shovel? Yeah, right, since I've got nothing better to do. Please, go on, Rita. It'll just take a moment. We'll stay here and keep Miss Flower company. All right, I'll go. <laughs> Let's see, now where do I find the shovel? Let me think. I believe it's under the slide. No, it's not under here. Maybe it's by the swings. Not here either. What bad luck. Uh, maybe, oh, I know. It must be in the sandbox. Yay, I finally found it. I found it. It was right where I thought it would be. Okay, now I'm going to replant her. Hey, no way. I want to do it all by myself. She's my friend. But Rita, it's very complicated. If you do it wrong, the flower will die. Hmm. I don't want to discuss it with you. Either I do it, or the flower stays here forever. Milo, don't worry. I'm sure Rita will do the best she can. I'm sure everything will turn out fine. All right, as you wish. Rita, be very careful. You need to dig a hole just below the flower but leave a little bit of space so that you don't cut the roots. Don't worry, this is easy as pie. Very easy. Slowly, slowly. I don't even want to look. Like that, well done. I've got it. See how easy? Very good. Now you have to put her with the other flowers. Very carefully, Rita. my friends. Now I'm the happiest flower in the garden. And now let's all dance. Moo Moo, Talalo, come quick. We're all going to dance together. 